<laughs> this okay. is a huge story right now. Yeah, it's massive in China. Everybody's talking about the duck. The it's like got three. I guess it got three hundred and sixty-one million uh, million impressions. Yeah, on this story. Okay, and we're still looking at this delicious rock dish. Yeah, okay. okay. So what do you see? What can you see? <laughs> okay. So. This is what's new in China, hot off the presses. Mm -hmm. What do you think this is? Because a lot of you probably can't read Chinese. If you can, you'll know what this is. But <laughs> it looks like a rat's head. It looks like it, yeah, doesn't it? You just read in the words. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> no, it literally. I've eaten rat before. Yeah, me too. But not this kind of rat. This is like a sewer rat. Yeah, this is a sewer rat. Yeah, this. This is like splinter, but like <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can see the teeth, okay? Yes. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah. So a kid found this in their lunch, right? Yeah. At the school in Henan. In Henan, right? In central China. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they find this, and yeah. they when they uh, complained or posted about it, what did the school have to say? They lost their minds. They went into full defense mode, yeah. and they go, "That is not. Don't spread rumors. That is not a rat's head." That's a duck's head. Now explain to why every you gotta explain to everyone why that would be so much more normal. What a duck's head? Because yeah. you you do uh, when you buy a dish in China, um, the head comes along with it, the feet come along with it. It's very normal. So when you get a plate of chicken, for instance, you get the whole chicken. Yeah. You know, it's all cut up, and then the head will be on the plate, and yeah. so it's super normal. You can also buy duck duck that, heads. Yeah, it's like a it's They're like a, a snack. Dish. It's a snack, and it's like a street food. You can buy duck necks, and you, you can buy neck. duck duck heads, all that Eat stuff. Eat the skin off it. Mm -hmm. It's very very like mala. Yeah, spicy. So they're trying to say that this is a duck's head. Yeah. And people are like, no, that's they're like, no, that's <laughs> ridiculous. Right. So um, yeah. it's absolutely hilarious because it turned it blew up. OK. And they were freaking out, not from a PR perspective, but also from a government perspective. They're like, the government's going to come after us. And then the government's like, don't you dare make China look bad. And mm -hmm. it escalated, escalated, escalated. Yeah. Weren't they the like way. threatening the students? Yes. So I want to I want to quote this. They okay. called it Ratgate or the Rat Incident, Rat Gate, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, they said, uh, according to the uh, in Hunan, the students at the school were reminded by staff not to discuss the incident on the internet, right? Okay. Meanwhile, the official catering company contracted by the uh, Jiangxi Vocational Technical College of Industry Trade issued a statement clarifying that they were not involved in the rat head incident. Okay. Right? <laughs> the incident occurred at a separate Chinese fast food stall uh, within the Qingshanhu campus canteen, which is not operated by Jingha Food and Beverage, which is a contracted company. Do you see what's happening here? Yeah, it's passing the back. And, it's, this it's like, is the most us. China yeah, way. Exactly. It's not us. It's not us. This mm -hmm. is the China way. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry. This is in Nanchang. This is in Jiangxi. Oh, Jiangxi. But, yeah, okay. but uh, uh, Hunan Business Newspaper was trying to report on it. Oh, is that what it was? So anyway, uh, let's <laughs> people, continue. I like how people are taking a, like a rat skull to prove that it's not a duck so it says a weibo uh, blogger named uh, jiang hu uh, li fuxiang posted a photo comparing a foreign object in the meal to a rodent head so like they were legitimately trying to say don't you dare say this isn't a duck head and yeah. the people online were like what are you talking it's about it's a hundred percent a rat's head it's just a rat's head it's disgusting so they were breaking it down with like the i like, like that. how animals work um yeah, and there's there's a duck's head yeah. on the left. Let me get us out of here quickly. So you can see the duck's head, and that's quite common as a snack on the street. And on the right is the freaking rat head. It's definitely a rat head. Yes. Any, oh, it's just a rat head. Anyone can see it's a rat head. Yes. So this blew up, and, yeah. and like I said, hundreds of millions of views before it started getting it shut and da shut down, right? Yeah. Because it goes, it can be a thing where mm -hmm. it's just like COVID. This is a great example. Yeah. In co in the beginning, they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, COVID came from Wuhan. But Wuhan's a bad place. It's not like the rest of China. That's what the Chinese yeah, government yeah, says. Yeah. Then they're like, wait a minute, wait, wait. Even if we say Wuhan looks bad, that makes China look bad. So then they backtrack and like, well, no, no it's it comes not, from not Italy. From it comes yeah. from Italy. This yeah. is the same thing. They're mm -hmm. like, oh well, Hunan or sorry, Jiangxi is rural and bad. Yeah. So yeah. that's fine that they did that or whatever. It's they're mm -hmm. gross. Yeah. Oh, by the way, actually, no, this didn't happen at all. This is a duck said. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. By the way, did you hear China stopped stopped uh, reporting uh, cremation numbers now? Yeah. 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 They just completely, they've stopped. You can't keep track of how many cremations are happening. You because... know what's wild? What? There's footage right now coming mm -hmm. out of uh, these vans that just have built-in crematoriums in the back. Yep. Um, it's really grim because mm -hmm. they're just rolling around in the streets. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's bad. It's pretty bad. Anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't trust any numbers coming out of China. No. Yeah. Um, so 
this became such a big thing and it actually started to get way again this is such streisand effect because yeah. china always does this instead of letting people run to this story and kind of make fun of it and say oh the school screwed up yeah it blew up into a much bigger thing mm -hmm. because now people are starting to quote old like poems and stuff yeah there's an there's an old saying in uh in chinese uh which is uh, which means uh, calling a deer a horse, right? Oh, okay. And so now they're changing this phrase and they're saying, which means <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> calling, yeah. a uh, calling a rat a duck. Exactly. So they're changing it. That's fantastic. Because it's an idiom, right? And yeah. the, the idiom actually comes from a story about the co corrupt eunuch and the master Zhao Gao uh, during the Qin dynasty who brought a deer to the second emperor, presenting it as a horse. <laughs> Fearful to disagree with him, many people followed him and identified the animal as a horse. All right. You see how dangerous this becomes? Because yeah. now there's political intrigue involved. Yep. You got to watch out. It's pretty funny. You know, though, I think... Uh, wow, so good. Oh, I think he likes me. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he certainly does. So, yeah, there we go. This is yeah, how they've changed it. Yeah. This That's is getting funny. out of control. So people are making memes, and they're they're basically... Um, there's a joke. There's a joke I'll try to translate. Okay, you want to translate the joke? Uh, oh. Now, imagine the students. They say, it's a rat, yeah. right? And the leadership says, no, it's a duck neck, right? <laughs> and the students say, no, it's a rat. And then the leadership says, here's your graduation certificate, offering graduation certificate. And the yeah. students say, it's a duck neck. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. That's and how it's, it that's how it is in China. People just get bullied into submission, right? Yeah. And then people are people are getting starting to actual actually question the government out of this, which is wild. Yeah, that is like crazy. these little things can happen because this, this guy said uh, controlling public sentiment is difficult and it requires some expertise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then some wrote that the entire affair is simply bizarre. Mm -hmm. um, somebody said, you're all so focused on the head, but don't you guys actually want to know where the rest of the rat went? <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> That's chopped up in the dish. You oh, know dude, I, I would hate to find a rat's head <laughs> yes. in my like lunch, my school lunch. I know. Yeah. Um, so there's an update. Okay. And the Jiangxi authorities, definitely under pressure of the CCP, yeah. uh, announced that they have established an investigative task force to mm. look for, uh, further into the incident. The findings will soon be released to the public. So what happens in this situation? They'll say that. And then nothing happens. And they'll cover it up. They'll arrest people. They'll silence people. They'll make people... You'll watch the story vanish. Mm -hmm. They love to do this. They're like, we are, we've now yep. started something, a task force to investigate. Yes. And that's just their only recourse. They yeah. say that, and then everyone calms down like, okay, it's under control. And then guess what? Nothing ever happens. They don't follow it up. No. We're not going to have a follow-up. No. Yeah. You'll see, like, at most, you'll see some tiny, tiny little thing. Like, this case was solved. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, the, the people at, at hand were reprimanded. Speaking about school lunches, though, we got something else to show you here. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Take a look at this lovely video. It was taken by a, a concerned parent at a kindergarten where a cleaning lady was actually uh, cleaning the utensils for the kindergarten children in the urinal. Yeah, in the floor. Well, in the actual turd the floor. floor urinal. Gotta, yeah, it's not just a urinal. It's like that's a, an actual... Yeah. Okay. Well, no, it is the piss tray type of urinal. No, that's they take a turd in that too. Yes. Yeah. No, they do. This, yeah, yeah, you're right. By the way, this, right. it's really gross. But in the kindergartens, and I taught in kindergarten, they had mm. this exact system. They yeah. just have like a ditch. Yeah, it's a ditch. It okay. slopes a little. Yeah, and then the children just stand over it, and they just like squat down. They could take a turd or take a pee or whatever yeah. in that, and there's flowing water in there, right? Yeah. And then the turds kind of like just flow off. There's like a drain, like yeah, a hole. Yeah, Just right. flow off, right? So you can see it. I suppose you don't need to pay for porcelain toilets or anything because it's just, just a ditch with running water in it. <laughs> yeah. So she's washing their... Their food tins in that turd dish. I mean, the turd trench. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot what? of words being thrown. Sorry, around like here. it's a turd trench. Okay, it's a giant rectangular toilet. <laughs> it's it's a toddler turd trench. Yes, T T T. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I remember because I was shocked when I first saw this when I was working at that Aishin Pei kindergarten. Yeah. They had this exact same thing, yeah. and the kids would just all go line up and just like squat over this thing in a row and take turds and whatever mm. it's like turds falling everywhere and just <laughs> going down this gushing down yeah. this turd trench she's washing the dishes in the turd trench so she's um, washing the trays in the tea cubed yeah exactly um the the mother who filmed this obviously took her kid out and then posted it online and yeah now, she's like what's going on it's not kid, normal by the way 
No, it is. In, no, I mean, in China, you would you take a video because it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying, <laughs> you know I'm saying? it is normal to watch things in the toilet because we've Unfor seen it. Unfortunately. We, we showed it on Xiaoban Ho. Yeah. Remember? We yeah. showed it last week in the piss eggs one where the guy was like, you know, the, the beans were being washed and stored in the toilet. Now the kids' dishes are being washed in the turd trench. I think there's a soundbite for that. Oh, what? Isn't oh, there? What, you mean like this one? Oh, no. Wasn't it like this one? It's <laughs> <laughs> an issue though, is the Chengguan are, are vicious. They, they are thugs. They are. China hates the poor. Yes. And the government shits on the poor left and right. It just <laughs> sets them on fire. Just <laughs> destroying people's <laughs> yeah, well, livelihoods. Yeah. Yeah. Kicking women. Kicking old women, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of unsafe. <laughs> Ocean, not a bird. Yeah, that's pretty unsafe if you ask me. Look at that jungle. Oh, and they see someone's recording. Yeah. <laughs> and the Chungwan sees the camera. It's all yeah. over. Yeah, look. Yeah, they see the Chungwan coming and they do. It's like, I'm out of here. It's probably, wow, so good. It probably is, isn't it? Wow, so good. <laughs> <laughs>